I want to show you how you can move insert and copy text not only within the same document but to other documents as well. First off, how to insert text. So if you already have text here and you want to add some more, that's simple. Wherever you want to add it, like in between these two words, just click so you can add the cursor because wherever that's at, when you start typing, that's where it's going to dump the text into. So when you're ready, just start typing. And you can see that it pushes everything over to the right of the flashing cursor. And if you keep on typing enough, not only to the right, but down, to make way for everything that we just typed in that was inserted to the left of the cursor. Next, let's learn how to move text around. And you can do that by selecting the text first that you want to move. So you can click and drag to select a letter, a word, or double click to select a word, or triple click to select an entire paragraph, or all the different ways that we learned how to select text in the previous training video. In any case, once you have your text selected to move it, one way is to go ahead and click on it with the left mouse button and drag it up or down. And when I go up, you'll see that the pointer now has a fuzzy box below it. That's the contents of what I've got selected that I'm dragging with the pointer. And wherever the pointer goes, that's not where the text is going to be dumped. It's where the black line is. So if I come up here and I want to dump it in between E and M, it doesn't do it because there's no space. So it goes over to the left and says, hey, we got a space over here in between these two words that I can dump your text into. Or if I move it over to the right far enough, then it says, okay, I'll snap over there and say, you can move it in between these two words to dump it because we have some space there or the space bar, a single space. And then go ahead and let go and that's where it dumps it. Now before I go ahead and click and drag it back because I don't want it there or I can hit the undo button, notice over and down below it, you get these options. They're called paste options because when you're clicking and dragging, you're actually pasting it to a new location. So when you click on it, you got some paste options that we'll go over in just a moment. Let's go ahead and click off and hit undo because to me that's a lot easier than clicking and dragging it back. Thank goodness for that undo button, which we'll cover in a couple of training videos. And if it's not within the same viewing area that you want to drag this selection to, good luck. I'm not that great at it, but I'll show you click and then drag down. If I need to go down a couple of pages, keep moving it down until it starts scrolling. And then to go faster, move it closer to the status bar. Faster, faster until you, oh, I just hit the status bar. I get a black circle with the line through it that says, we can't drag it to the status bar, silly. Okay. Then slowly move it back up and it starts picking up speed and, oh, it needs, no, I need to go up here. And what if I want to dump, oh, I missed the page. That could be a mess. If I want to start over, I have to let go of the mouse button, and it dumps it right there. So let me go ahead and hit undo to get rid of that. Again, thank goodness for the undo. Instead, for me, the other way to do it is to cut and paste it, because when I cut it, it won't paste it until I'm ready to paste it until I got my spot selected to paste it in two, as opposed to dragging it and overshooting the line or the area that I want to drag it to. So to cut and paste, Make sure you still got it selected, then come up here on the Home tab to the Clipboard group, and there's the pair of scissors. Yay! Let's do some cutting and pasting. So you can see when I hover over it, you got the shortcut keys Control X as another way to cut your text. And so if I click on it, it removes the selected text because we cut it out of the document. And where does it go to? Well, up here on that clipboard, where we can go ahead and paste it when we're ready. But I'm not ready yet. Let's go ahead and hit Undo and use the shortcut keys, Control X. See, it cuts it. Let's go ahead and hit Undo, or you can go ahead and right-click on the selection, and in the shortcut menu, you get the Cut option. Cut it, disappears, or let me undo. If you right-click and hold the right mouse button down and move, it looks like we're clicking and dragging with the left mouse button, but I'm doing it with the right mouse. So there's no indication here that lets you know by watching my training video that I've got the right or the left mouse button down, but it is the right, that when I let go of it, it gives me a new shortcut menu where I can move it, copy it, link here, create a hyperlink, and we'll cover the links later, but I can go ahead and left click on move here and it moves it there. So let me go ahead and hit undo. So having said that, when you right click on the selection, if you don't move the mouse, you get one shortcut menu. But if you got a shaky hand and you right click, whoops, then I deselects it. But if you got a shaky hand and you right click, um, you got to hold still if you don't want this other shortcut option to move. So hold still and right click and then you can go ahead and cut it. Now to paste it, yay! You can go ahead and scroll down and pick your spot, plant it, stake it, call it yours once the cursor's flashing there. 
then we can go ahead and paste it, which is a lot easier than clicking and dragging it and trying to get it oh, oh, just right there. So to paste it, you can do it one of many ways. You can, of course, come up here on the Home tab to the Clipboard group and click right on the clipboard, the Paste button, and you can see in the pop-up the shortcut keys are Control v as in Victor. So click on it. It does a simple paste. You get some paste options, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Let's go ahead and hit Undo and use the shortcut keys, Control v as in Victor. It pastes it, and you get those paste options again. So when I click on it, it's the same three paste options, and they are, with the paintbrush, you can keep the source formatting, so if I had anything in here that had formatting applied to it, all right, I'm going to do it. Fine, I'll do it. I'll apply some formatting. Let me hit undo a couple of times. Come up here and keep it simple. Double click on a word. In the mini formatting toolbar, let me click on the color red, the default color. I know this is a little bit advanced in a later training video, how to apply formatting to text, but I need to do it here so I can show you what's going on. So you can see we've got red, then select it. And then, like I said, clicking and dragging is the same as cutting and pasting because you get the same paste options, but I'll hit undo. And we'll just go ahead and control X to cut it and scroll down here. And then when you paste it, again, it pastes it the way you had it, but it gives you the options to say, okay, if you don't want to keep the source formatting, the formatting that's currently applied to it, then you can go ahead and say that you want to merge the formatting. So you can see it gives me a preview before I click on it that the red is now gone. When I go back to keep source, the red reappears on the word ask. So when I merge it into something, if it already has formatting there, like if everything was in green and I went into a green formatted area, then when I clicked on merge, it would merge and everything would become green or whatever the formatting that was applied to that area. And that little smart tag doesn't go away, at least not yet. Click on the drop down arrow so you can keep changing your options and say, look, I don't want to keep the source formatting. I don't want to insert it into the current formatting. I just simply want text only. Click on that and all formatting is gone. Now to get rid of this, if you don't want that smart tag because it's in the way because I want to get below it and I can't see the word behind it, you need to do something else. If you actually hit the space bar, that's an action that will remove it and saying, OK, we're done. We're not going to allow you to choose any more paste options. And if you want to bring those paste options back up again, well, you'd have to cut and paste or click and drag. Or we'll do in just a minute, copy and paste to get those paste options. Let me go ahead and hit undo a couple of times. We've got it there. And then we can cut it. And finally, when you want to paste it, you can also come up here on the Home tab to the Clipboard group and click on the Paste drop down arrow to get the same options. Now let's go ahead and click off and undo that. So we're right back up at the top here. Not only can you do this within the same document, but you can also do it to other documents as well. And what I show you when it comes to cutting and pasting, it's the same as copying and pasting, which I'll cover in just a minute. Except the difference is instead of cutting it out of one part of the document so it's no longer there, you're saying duplicate it and then pasting it somewhere else. So with it selected, you can go ahead and click cut. And then we can open up a new document, file, down to new, blank document. Or instead of a blank document, you can open up a previously saved document and then go ahead and paste it here. You can right click and you get the paste options. Ooh, we get some different ones. It says you can use the destination theme for this document because this document may have a different theme than the previous document. And we'll talk about themes in a later training video. But outside of that, you get the same other three options. You can keep the source formatting. You can go ahead and merge formatting. And you can see it's just a preview because when I come back here, you'll see the red has disappeared when I go to merge because there's no formatting in the current document. And so that's nice before I actually click on it to apply it to see if I like what I see in the preview here. And then keep text only. It does nothing because there's no formatting here. So I can go ahead and click on it. And there we go. Now you're probably looking at this and going, how come that's so close to the top? Well, if I hover over the top border, I get these two arrows pointing up and down that says double click to show white space. So it's hiding the extra white space or my top and bottom margins of the document. Let me double click and you can see over here in the vertical ruler, it opens up and displays the top margin. In any case, I'll show you that in a later training video, but the purpose behind that is that if you don't want to scroll from one page to the next, get to the bottom of one page and have a lot of white space than the top of the next page with a lot of white space. That's great for printing it off, but when it comes to reviewing a document, 
I don't want to have to scroll extra white space to get to the next text. I just want to have it all collapse together and not look at the top and bottom margins of every page. In any case, I digress. We now have it pasted. Now you're probably asking yourself, wait a second, if the clipboard is in another document, how does it carry over to a new document or one that's been previously saved? Well, that's just the way it works. It's part of the office or operating system. Actually, when you copy something, you can even open up another application like PowerPoint or Excel and paste it in there. For example, let me come down here and click on Excel. Oh, this is going to be a mess. You can see up here on the Home tab in the Clipboard group, the Paste button is hot, meaning that it's active. When I click on it, it pastes it in Excel. So the clipboard actually is something that's part of the operating system that once you copy it to it, the applications just identify that you have something there by saying that the paste button is highlighted. Otherwise, if it was clear and you closed out of all the applications, then you wouldn't have anything on the clipboard and it would be clear. Then you can go ahead and when you copy something else, it would start it up again. So let's go ahead and close out of here, not save it. And let's go over copying. So if I go ahead and hit undo, it gets rid of it, and go back to my document here and hit undo, it brings it back. And instead of cutting it this time, I'd like to keep it there. I just want to go ahead and copy it to another document because maybe it's something that I'm highlighting and saying, here's the highlight of my paper here. So again, you want to right click on it to make sure that it's on the clipboard without cutting it. And so we'll click on copy and you can copy one of many ways. That's with the right click. Of course, you can also right click and hold down the left mouse button and let go. It brings up copy here as opposed to move here. Click off. Ooh, they're selected again. Let's come over here in the margin and click and drag. There we go. And you can come up here on the home tab to the clipboard group. We did the scissors and we've got the two papers, which is the copy feature and control C will work. Click on it and it's copied to the clipboard or just go ahead and do control C. Now when you copy something, there's no dancing clown that comes out and says, hey, we're on the clipboard now. No, it's not like cutting where you can actually see it gone and go, okay, it's gone somewhere. I assume Word's doing its thing and it's on the clipboard. In any case, you just have to trust that it's been copied to the clipboard and you can find that out by, well, when you paste it. So if I come down here and I can paste it one of many ways, as we learned, right click and go ahead and choose one of the options and we'll just keep text only. We can go ahead and undo and all the other ways that we talked about when it comes to pasting. And it's still on the clipboard, so if I go to another document or another application, you can see up here that the paste is there, that I can go ahead and click paste, and I can click paste, and paste, and paste, and keep doing it until the cows come home. Or until I copy something else or cut it and add it to the clipboard, and then in which case it's going to be an entirely different content, text, or even objects. You can cut and paste objects as well. And finally, available up here, when you click on the drop down arrow, the paste is the paste special. When you click on it, you've got some different ways of pasting it, like maybe as a picture so they can't edit it. You can also do it as a link. And the two options you get is the word hyperlink and then the HTML format. The word hyperlink, as you can see down below, inserts the contents of the clipboard as text with font and table formatting. So with the formatting and the HTML format, and then just the simple HTML format. So what's the difference? Well, let's go ahead and do Word. Click okie dokie. And then let's try paste drop down arrow again. Paste special. Paste link. HTML format. Inserts the contents, but not as a hyperlink, as this one says. So when I insert it, any changes that I make in the other document that it's linked to will update it here, but it won't allow me to, well, like this one up here, when I hover over it, hold down the control key and click on it to go right to it in the other document. Well, that's fun. But if I come in here and I delete everything in front of the ask and I go back to the other document, it updated it. Well, not the word because that one is inserted as a hyperlink, so it's static. But when we hold down the control key, as it says in the pop-up and click on it, it'll take us to that other document as opposed to down here where it's just a one-way link where what happens over there displays over here, but doesn't allow us to go back to that document with a control click. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.